Morning without coffee? You shouldn't even be allowed. Like, literally should not be allowed. I'm saying it too. Also too, this is the best way to drink it. From Yeti Bug. Not sponsored, um, but as I should think about today, out of people that would want to be sponsored by that's like a drinkware company, Yeti be it. All right, so, welcome to the video. <coughs> Welcome to the video, everyone. Uh, basically, I kind of talked to my friend last night and he actually made a really good point. So shout out to Big Rob first off, by the way. I'm gonna link his information down in the description below. Um, but really awesome dude. He reached out and he wanted to like kind of connect and just kind of like chat and kind of like, you know, bounce ideas off each other. Kind of brought the point of like, just doing these like head on talking things and stuff like that, these kind of videos. It was kind of funny because out of people that have like given me like responses to things, I got a lot of really good feedback in my last one that I did, like about like why it sucks being a content creator. And it was kind of funny, reason being because like the whole time I was editing that video, I was like, this is gonna suck, this is gonna be awful, like, you know, no one's gonna watch this, no one's gonna like this. And I was like, this is just so just straightforward and like there's no B-roll, there's no nothing fancy in it, you know. Yeah, I thought it was gonna flop. But honestly, I got a lot of really good feedback and people really enjoyed it. So I'm trying to challenge myself to do things like this every single week and kind of like get myself out of that mindset of like, I need to have like, a really good video or I need to have like b-roll or I need to have all these other fancy things that make a good video up also to another one of those things being like it has to have some sort of like fancy thing because like whenever I think when I think of vlogs I think of like my buddy Jayhawk uh or Biggie or um Matt Hapoya or you know Peter McKinnon like some of these people that just have these amazing vlogs Dunna did it these are all people that I really like watching their vlogs and just kind of like their day to day and stuff like that or how they kind of like film that stuff. But to be honest, like they don't really need to have points. So I'm gonna do better about making sure that I have videos like this, just straightforward edits. And I'm just gonna try and pump them out as fast as possible. Uh, not that I'm trying to just like, I need to get all these videos out ASAP, whatever, but just like I enjoy doing these. I feel like other people enjoy this because they kind of like get to see like the person behind the camera or person you know, behind the stream kind of deal. So yeah, getting it out of my head that I don't need to have something to talk about every single time, like I guess like a, a thing. I mean, it could just be something throughout my day that I'm just like, here's my thoughts on this. So I'm gonna start doing that. But luckily today, I do have something to talk about, which is kind of cool. Nothing too exciting. I'm excited about it. You guys should be excited. I'm gonna show you guys. I got packages. These are two packages. One from Best Buy, one from a uh, keyboard company. And I'm stoked. So first, I actually already kind of pre-opened this because I wasn't sure what it was because this is actually supposed to come today, but it came yesterday, uh, today being the 27th. And when I tell you, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. So currently I have a keyboard that I basically put together myself um, from Glorious Gaming. And it's a 60% keyboard. It has, I think, Khalil Purple Pros or something like that uh, for the switches. They're not lubed, neither the stabilizers or anything like that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's totally fine. It's kind of just like keyboard term. I'm not super into it. I'm kind of like, you know, get my toe wet a little bit with like custom keyboards, but yeah. So that's kind of what I have now and I like it a lot, but I really like the arrow keys and I've been missing the arrow keys. So to show you my current keyboard, this is it. And to kind of give you an idea of what it sounds like, here we go. Also, what I'd like to say about this keyboard, this thing is a tank. If I had an intruder come into my house, I could probably take this and defend myself with it appropriately. So also, I'm um, not gonna lie, this happened because my computer decided to lock up and I was being frustrated with it. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hurt you, but it still works just fine. So that's my old keyboard. My new keyboard that I'm gonna be using is this one. Now I'm not actually gonna unbox it, um, but for anyone that doesn't know, I'm also a big fan of Hunter Thieves. Why am I a big fan? Because I have a lot of respect for Nade Shot, everything that he's done, building an organization, going from like a pro player to you know content creator to that. Um, so I think it's really awesome what he's done throughout the entire like time that he's been in this kind of industry and I admire that a lot, but this is the first exclusive high ground hunter thieves drop since hunter thieves actually bought high ground a company and like people like I, I have a friend who is a very good dear friend of mine 
and he just hates Hunter Thieves because he thinks it's cringe, which is fine. Everyone has their own opinion on stuff, but I feel like you still have to respect what they're doing. Like there's certain people that I feel like you might not agree with them, you might not like them or something like that, but you gotta respect them for the things that they're doing. So like Hunter Thieves, the fact that like they have like the sponsorships they've been able to work with and get and stuff like that, like that's huge for the gaming industry, seeing those people start to collaborate. The Gucci drop that they did, you know, is crazy. The fact that Gucci, a very like, you know, it's a high end, you know, brand works with Hunter Thieves, which is a gaming organization. Like it even just blows my mind right there. Like say it again, like Gucci, a high end Prada, like whatever, like basically high end brand worked with Hunter Thieves to release a backpack. That's insane. So, um, and now they're also into hardware. They like work with Cash App a lot. They've done clothing drops in a lot of cool ways. So again, even if you don't like them, I feel like you still have to respect them for everything that they do because I feel like they've done a lot. And I think people breaking those grounds, it introduces and paves a way for other people and other organizations to happen. Because again, it's awesome to see that people are investing in this, like, you know, community, I was gonna say community, I guess it kind of is, but people are in, you know, investing into gaming as a whole, which is awesome. But back to the keyboard. So yes, yeah, so this is a custom keyboard, which I'm gonna be unboxing this on stream tonight. So if you guys aren't following, that's your fault. So make sure you guys hit the follow button on the uh, Twitch. So make sure you guys hit the uh, follow button down for Twitch. Make sure you guys hit the link for Twitch and go ahead and give me a follow because I'm live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday nights, not Saturday, Sunday night. Um, but yeah, so that way you guys would have seen this first. So I'm gonna get my kind of reaction to it and what I think. Uh, I've watched a couple videos and I'm still really excited for it. I think it's a really awesome keyboard. It's gonna be dope. I'm gonna get my arrow keys back and a couple of the other keys back as well. So it'll be nice to have that for like editing and stuff like that or even like games or whatever. So awesome, stoked for that. Now the next thing is definitely like a, uh, I don't think it's an, it's kind of an impulse buy, I guess, because this thing keeps selling out all the time. A couple of things I do is I always look for a way to make my workflow easier or make my, uh, make my content creation experience better. And sometimes, you know, I end up spending more money than I need to, but I do it anyways. And oh my God, why am I having such a hard time cutting this box? Although I have this microphone right now, cool thing is that Sony also has their own microphone. So this is the Sony ECM B1M. I did not memorize that. I saw it on the back of the box. But the cool thing about this is this is a digital interface audio device. So what that means is that there are little like pins on the hot shoe on this camera. So this will connect to it via that, which means there's no cable. So there's no cable that has to be routed into it. So it makes it even smaller and lighter and more just compact. Uh, it also comes with a uh, a windscreen or what some people would call a, a, a dead cat. So this I'm actually excited about. This I'm not gonna wait for stream because I wanna potentially try it out. Not right now, because again, I'm goaling myself to see how fast I can edit this video and I don't wanna sit here and mess with my uh, audio settings, my audio levels. So I'm just gonna do that. So we have our windscreen and then we have the case and everything else that comes inside and Dude, there's like a few trees worth of manuals in here. Do people like, can you guys let me know in the comment section down below? Like, does anyone actually read these things? Like, do we really need to continue printing these? Granted, I work retail and I definitely have heard people where they come in, they're like, why is there no manual in the box? Because it's 2021 and no one reads them. No one's been reading those manuals for the last like 12 years. Like, that's why they're not in the box and it says scan me to find out because you just take your smartphone, you scan a code and you have the manual online. Why am I so passionate about that? I literally have no idea. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm actually really excited for this because again, my goal is I want to start vlogging more and sometimes the vlogs will just be like this. It'll just be sent, you know, straightforward, simple, nothing crazy. Some of them I want to try and get better with like going around to, you know, places, experiencing new things and kind of vlogging my experience around that. So, and the cool thing about this little bitty microphone is that it doesn't require batteries. It runs off the battery of the camera and that's it. So that's actually pretty freaking sick, right? Wait, did I get that right or is it rechargeable? Cause 
because it hasn't. Wait, is this is this rechargeable? Did I get that wrong? Am I an idiot? Did I really just buy something without knowing about it? Wait a minute. Correction. It is a rechargeable battery. I literally had no idea. Future B Paula can confirm it works off the battery of the camera. It does not have a built-in battery. Why there's a micro USB port on the side? No clue, but I confirm my buddy Jayhawk. Thank you very much, Jayhawk. It just works off the camera. Ask me, Paula, you were wrong. You're still beautiful though. But either way, I really like it because it's got a shock mount kind of built into it. So literally like it is resistant to that stuff like moving around. It has a nice small form factor, which I wish I could show you guys this, but I don't feel like dismounting it. But to give you an idea, this is the Rode Video Mic. Uh, no, the Rode Video Mic Go. No, Rode. This is a this is a very popular vlogging mic. I'll put it somewhere on the screen here, but this is a very popular vlogging mic. Now, the quality on this mic is not that great because it's not electronic. You basically just plug it in and go. This one does not have batteries, which is really nice because you don't have to worry about charging anything. In a world where there's a bunch of chargers and stuff like that and batteries, it kind of sucks having to do that. But if you look at it like, they're really not that bad. Like even if I throw the windscreen on it, so there's the fuzzy little windscreen, which helps block the wind, obviously. Like that's it. This is your mic. And the quality of this mic is probably comparable or pretty much on par with this one that I'm using now. I'm really excited to try this out. I'm pretty, I'm pretty hype about it. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. So this will be nice to kind of introduce to my kit, make life easier for vlogging and stuff like that. Bam, done. That's it, that's all I gotta show you guys. So um, yeah, I guess point of this vlog, I guess maybe, maybe, should I do recaps at the end of the vlog? Like this is like what I wanted you to get out of it. Let me know if I hit the mark or not. <laughs> yeah, I guess the point of this vlog is just like, there doesn't have to be some crazy thing going on that, to create a vlog, like to update people on what's going on in your life, what cool technology you just invested in or something like that, right? Like it doesn't have to be something crazy that's like, oh, that's so cool, like, don't know what, dude, this thing literally has a mind of its own. Anyways, it doesn't have to be like you're like going skydiving and doing something crazy. Like it's funny because even I think people like Peter McKinnon, I feel like I've heard him mention this before. They feel like their life is boring and it's nothing crazy or spectacular. And it's like people are like, oh, the, like Peter McKinnon, dude, like he's crazy. He's like one of the best like videographer, photographers like on YouTube or whatever, most popular, whatever have you. Like that's insane. How could he not have something to talk about, right? I think it's just really getting over the fear in your head that like, I don't have anything good to say or like this isn't interesting or whatever but to be honest i think at the end of the day if you actually take a look at it like i think you do i think you have a good amount of stuff to talk about and people could relate to it and i think that's what people like is that people like that they can relate to you or me or ted or ted anyways Thank you guys for watching the video, I appreciate it. Now I'm gonna go chop this up as fast as I can to see how quick I can get this out because my goal is that I wanna get something like this out every single week, at least once a week, and just get in the repetition of making these and get over the fear of doing that. Just like, honestly, I have this weird like fear of like, I have so many ideas for TikTok, but then I refuse to just use my phone to record it because I'm like, I wanna use my camera. Like it's a, such a nice camera, like I should be using my camera. When reality is like, it's more important about like getting this done and just recording with what I got and then just pushing out that content. People aren't gonna sit there and be like, oh wow, his microphone doesn't sound that great. Or like, oh, his, uh, his, his pixels don't look as good on his camera. What is he not using his camera? Like, I don't think people are actually gonna do that stuff. And if they do, then well, they can just go watch someone else that has all the time or more time than I do to create stuff like that. Those are a couple of my fears I'm gonna be getting over and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the journey of it. And uh, yeah, so let me know if you guys like this or not. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys are interested about knowing about the keyboard and stuff too. Like I said, follow my Twitch and all my other socials down below. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help us out with the algorithms and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Hope you have an amazing day. Thank you very much. I'm now out with my microphone that sadly has to recharge its batteries and now has micro USB. I'm actually really bummed about that. Is it is it just me or is it kind of dumb that like people get bummed out about like what type of port is on their device now? Like I never used to care, but like I wish everything was just type C, including including Apple. Like just go to type C already. You, we all know it's gonna happen. Just, just do it. Just get a type C port on the bottom of your phones and I'd be much happier. So, bye I'm out. See ya tonight. So if you guys aren't following,
that's your fault. So make sure you guys hit the follow button on the uh, Twitch. So make sure you guys hit the uh, follow button down for Twitch. I did not remember it. Those are a couple of my fears. I'm gonna get no 